Hi guys, this is Miss Hair today, and before you even get started, I have a little friend that wanted to come out and see you guys. So, um, I'm trying to stay far back away from the camera as possible. I'm just going to quickly come on because I have my hair mostly um, down in a big um, afro. And I decided to do a side puff. So I'm, today I'm going to show you how to do a side puff. Or I'm learning as well. Um, a lot of times I like to wet my brush. And I'm going to brush on the side. Now I've already applied some gel to it. Because you see my hair is already pretty much waving up. Okay, I'm going to take an ouchless band and go around twice. I'm keeping my head turned like this for a reason, guys. Alright, so I have it on. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly, but I pull one of the, um, well, when you wrap it around twice, I just pull one of them. And I kind of just slide up as I'm pulling. And once I get it kind of tight, then I just push this side here over until I get it to where I want it. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's how I do a side puff. I did not put any earrings on. I'm actually trying to get out the door. So this is going to be like a semi, some kind of video with this little cute friend here. Alright, if you want to go around the edges, you can. You know, I prefer to. I'm just going to take my brush today and not even my... Um, toothbrush. Because I'm in just that much of a rush. Okay. So, this is the side puff. And I guess you can keep moving it. Another thing that I, um, I do is, and I cannot find it. And I had it somewhere. Anyway, I just put like a comb in on the side to help secure it or hold it up even more. You can use a closed long bobby pin. And I'm still looking for it. But um, yeah, this is my side puff. You can kind of pull it down to make it longer. Um... Whatever your preference may be. So this is the puff. And I hope you guys enjoyed my puff. Sorry for this um, little case right here. But that's all for today. So take care and always be blessed. Bye.